And from Thomas Stadium on the campus of East Tennessee State University in Johnson City, Tennessee, we bid you a very pleasant good afternoon and welcome aboard 2018 Elizabethan Cyclone Baseball. Today, it is the Region 1 AA Championship between the Elizabethan Cyclones at 24 and 8 and the Greenville Green Devils with a record of 22 and 10. Yours truly, Tom Taylor, Mike's side. We say good evening to you and welcome aboard. Thank you for being with us wherever you may be. Again, Thomas Stadium here, overcast in Johnson City. Game scheduled to be played in Greenville, Tennessee, but because of obviously a lot of rain this morning and this afternoon, we're on an all artificial turf surface here as we get ready for baseball against a very good baseball team, the Greenville Green Devils. Again, with Coach Collins, again coming in with a record, as we said, of 22 and 10, and the Elizabeth and Cyclones under head coach Ryan Presnell with a record of 24 and 8. Pretty simple. The winner of this game will be at home Friday night against the loser, the Alcoa Pigeon Forge game. They're playing for their Region 2 championship tonight. Again, Alco and Pigeon Forge. And so we play uh, the winner. If we win tonight, we'll play that losing game Friday night again in Elizabeth. If we lose here this evening, we'll travel on Friday to the winner of that game between Alcoa and Pigeon Forge. Pretty simple. And so that's, uh, that's pretty much the basics here again on an overcast day here at Thomas Stadium at East, East Tennessee State University. Evan Carter is your starting pitcher for the Elizabeth and Cyclones, and Jacques Gillespie-Taylor will go for the Greenville Green Devils. And we'll have more for you from Thomas Stadium at East Tennessee State University. Be sure and like and share it. Let folks know we're here and broadcasting this game worldwide on the Internet. Again, on the Tom Taylor Sports Show Facebook page, as you see on the screen, and also at TomTaylorSports.com. We'll be right back with more right after this from our title sponsor, the great folks from Chick-fil-A. Cyclone Baseball from East Tennessee State University's Thomas Stadium in Johnson City. We'll be right back after you hear this from Chick-fil-A. Welcome to the Mini Morning News Show, where we are so excited about Chick-fil-A's chicken minis for breakfast that we've minified the news. In real estate news, tiny homes for those who like everything within arm's reach. In culinary news, micro food, because, you know, small plates. In entertainment news, this year it's all about the mini series. In pop culture news, mini everything. Because, aww. All right, thanks for listening. Now go put some mini in your morning with the chicken you love for breakfast. Chick-fil-A's Chicken Minis until 10.30 a.m. This is Andrew McKeon, president of Carter County Bank. Carter County is blessed with amazing characteristics. Natural beauty, caring people, and locally owned small businesses all make our community one of the best places in America to live. Remember to support Carter County small businesses with your purchases, because for every $100 you spend at a Carter County owned business, $45 stays here to create local jobs and support our schools. When you spend $100 at a national chain store, only $14 remains in our community. So no matter where you roam, hurry back home. Let's pull together to support local business and make our community even better. Carter County Bank is big on small business. Locally owned and managed to support our first priority, Carter County and the people who live here. Visit any of our branches or go online to cartercountybank.com. Carter County Bank is a division of Bank of Tennessee, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Blackburn, Childers, and Stegall, providing tax, accounting, and audit services in East Tennessee for over 50 years. Blackburn, Childers, and Stegall, the region's largest firm, and serves individuals, family businesses, health care, nonprofits, manufacturers, and many more industries. Blackburn, Childers, and Stegall's Wealth Management, celebrating their 20th anniversary this year. BCS Wealth Management is a full-service financial firm, providing personal financial planning, investments, and group benefits. For more information, please call 423-282-4511. That's 282-4511 or on the web at bcscpa.com. That's bcscpa.com. Blackburn, Childers, and Stegall, proud sponsor of Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball.
Back at Thomas Stadium again at East Tennessee State University. Yours truly, Tom Taylor. Mike's excited to bring it to you again at the home plate area, the meeting of the minds, of course, between Coach Presley and Coach Collins. If you're ready now, the starting lineup. First off for the Elizabethan Cyclones, again, 24-8. and eight. Leading off and playing second base, Ethan Eggleston. Batting second, your center fielder, Ryan Wetzel. Batting third and doing the pitching this afternoon, Evan Carter. Your cleanup batter, shortstop, Corey Russell. Batting fifth and doing the catching, Evan Perkins. Batting sixth, the designated hitter for the right fielder, Lawson Wagner, will be Logan Estep. Batting seventh and playing third base, Matthew Daly. Batting eighth and playing left field, Jacob Mullins. And batting ninth and playing first base, defensively for Elizabeth, and is Nick Johnson. Again, Ethan Eggleston at second, Ryan Wetzel at center, Evan Carter pitching, Corey Russell at shortstop, Evan Perkins catching, Logan Eastep designating the doing the DHing, the designated hitting for right fielder Lawson Wagner, Matthew Daly at third, Jacob Mullins in left, and Nick Johnson at first base. For Greenville, 22-10, and 10, leading off and playing center field will be Dalton McLean. Batting second, your shortstop, Augustus Fraley. Batting third, the third baseman, Jordan Idell. Cleanup batter is your starting pick, pitcher, Jacques Gillespie-Taylor. Batting fifth and playing first base, Braden Spano. Batting sixth for Greenville and playing left field, Caleb Norris. And the bottom three for the Green Devils, Avery Collins catching, Jake Goodwin, DHing for the center fielder, C- or for the right fielder, C.J. Henley. And at second base is Bryce Buchanan. Again in order, McLean in center, Fraley at shortstop, Idell at third, Taylor pitching, and Spano at first base. Norris in left field, Collins catching, Goodwin DHing for the right fielder, Henley, and Buchanan is at second base. Pretty good crowd here, three man crew working it. And so we're getting ready to do baseball again, and we're getting ready to do it in a big time way here as the Elizabeth and Cyclones get ready to do battle with the Greenville Green Devils. So we'll take a quick break, get ready to go. First pitch coming up next year as we are live, as we said, here against the Greenville Green Devils. You went on Friday night, you are at home at O'Brien Stadium. If you lose here tonight, you travel to either, again, you truck on down to either Alcoa or Pigeon Forge. Those two teams are playing tonight as well. First pitch coming up next year after this quick timeout for our good folks from Tri-Cities Health. Again, no PA and no scoreboard, so we're going to wing it here the best we can this evening, and we'll be challenged to do it and do it right here as best we can. Quick break. We'll be right back for our great sponsors, Tri-City Health. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. Tri-Cities Health at 2208 West Elk Avenue in Elizabeth and wants to help you develop a roadmap to get you healthy again. They offer individualized, state-of-the-art diagnostic testing and treatment plans to help you achieve optimal health. They can help you with anxiety, depression, asthma and allergies, back pain, cholesterol, fatigue, headaches and migraines, high blood pressure, poor sleep, restless leg syndrome, thyroid problems, weight gain, and weight loss, fibromyalgia, and DOT physicals, just to name a few. They're a phone call away at 543-7000. 543-7000. Listening is the key to getting at the root cause of your health issues. And again, that will help you develop a roadmap to get you healthy again. For more information, call today. Tri-Cities Health in Elizabethan at 543-7000. A proud sponsor of Elizabethan Cyclone Baseball. Welcome to the Mini Morning News Show, where we are so excited about Chick-fil-A's chicken minis for breakfast that we've minified the news. In real estate news, tiny homes for those who like everything within arm's reach. In culinary news, micro food, because, you know, small plates. In entertainment news, this year it's all about the mini series. In pop culture news, mini everything. Because, aww. All right, thanks for listening. Now go put some mini in your morning with the chicken you love for breakfast. Chick-fil-A's chicken minis until 10.30 a.m. We're ready to get started here. Ethan Eggleston leads things off here for the Elizabethan Cyclones, and here we go, the Region 1 AA Championship. So, first pitch is outside ball one. This one's underway here. Choo-choo train coming by. And a pitch outside to strike called, one on one. Eight for 17, Eggleston. Two doubles, two RBIs, walked three times, scored nine runs in postseason, the five-game postseason for Elizabethan. 
Taylor gets his sign. He delivers. Here it comes, and it's upstairs and outside, and it's two and one. Ethan Eggleston on the season, overall batting 376, no homers and 18 RBIs for the Eggman. Of course, his goal is to get on base, and that's exactly what he's supposed to do, and he's at a two-ball, one-strike count. Taylor delivers, and it's a strike called, and it's two and two. And that's where I got the Boo Birds on him from the Elizabethan fan base. So it's a thankless job, these guys in blue. I'm telling you, three-man crew, nobody's ever happy. I think they do a pretty good job, all things considered. 2-2 two -two count, Taylor delivers. And it's way outside, ball three, full count, three and two. And defensively, you have behind the plate doing the catching this evening is Avery Collins, Taylor on the mound. Eggleston, all synthetic surface here. It's an awesome facility. Here's a ground ball right back up the middle. Base hit in the right field for Ethan Eggleston. Lead off single for the Elizabethan Cyclones. So, egg at first, here comes Ryan Wetzel. Wetzel in the tournament, five-game tournament, four for 13, an RBI, six walks, and scored three times. Wetzel on the season batting 421, no homers and 19 knocks, and leads the team in doubles with four, and with men on base batting a very healthy 542. So, Taylor goes to work, working from the first base side of the pitching rubber. Man, at first, is Eggleston with a pretty good lead. Pitching. Swing and a miss upstairs. 325 down the left field line and right field line. Straight away centering. You see it on the screen. Pretty good poke at 400 feet. Power alleys right and left at 370 here at Thomas Stadium. First time in. This is an awesome, awesome ballpark. Goodness. This is primo, as they say back home. Throw to first. Back in diving safely is Ethan Eggleston. Hello, Betty Lacey. Hello, Jerry McNeil. And hello to Andy Thaxon up in West Virginia. Pitching inside, ran a tight on misses, and again, we've got to watch the umpire very, very closely. They're going to appeal. Did he check swing? Wasn't even close. Absolutely not. Taylor working from the stretch. Eggleston off the bag, creeping at first base. Lead man on here to start it. Outside, strike call to Wetzel. And let's see, it's two balls and two strikes, I think. Wetzel on deck is Evan Carter, the starting pitcher, trying to help his cause here. Throw to first, Eggleston a little tighter that time thrown over there. Throw taken, Egg back in diving safely. Hello, Vic White in Knoxville. Go Cyclones, that'd be Coach White's daddy. Mr. Vic and Miss Carroll. Taylor to the belt, checks the runner, brings it, and it's down and away. Good eye by Ryan Wetzel. The only thing about this perch is it's not far up high up because anybody stands up, you can see right there in front of us, it blocks the viewing area of the radio man, or in this case, the internet man. Pitching, foul back, good eye, good hack by Wetzel. Just got started. Of course, the Cyclones are the visitors here in all orange with black numerals and black black stockings. Taylor with that lead foot pointing towards Wade, almost to the first base dugout. Taylor to the belt, brings it inside and tight. Good eye. He runs it full now. Three and two. Three balls and two strikes to Wetzel. We're in the top of the first. Eggleston with a... Single that snuck in to right field. Eggleston creeping off the bag at first, and Wetzel's got a payoff pitch coming. Fly ball, that will be in for a base hit. McLean gets it back in in a hurry, and the first two on board here. Remember, being played on Monday night, they eliminated Unicoi County 5 to nothing, so they went with their first gun, top gun. And so you're seeing the number two man in their pitching rotation. And first two men have reached on solid singles. And here is Evan Carter. Carter in the tournament, six for 15, two doubles, nine RBIs, four walks, and scored six times. He's on fire in postseason. Taylor's in a jam. First two on board, nobody out in the first. Carter, way outside, ball one. Good eye by Evan Carter. Carter on the season. Carter batting... 
Evan at 390, two homers and 44 RBI, second in that category to Corey Russell, who's on deck. And Carter's your starting pitcher today. Brings it. Carter way upstairs, squirts off the catcher's mitt, and it's a pass ball, and both runners go up. Eggleston comes to third, and Wetzel goes to second on a pass ball charge to Avery Collins. And so the Cyclones are knocking on the door here. First two on board, second and third base. Nobody out for Carter and Russell and Perkins, and we hope a whole bunch more here. So Taylor got himself in a first inning jam here at the starting pitcher. Hello, Joe Nix. Go Cyclones. You better believe it. Playing at East Tennessee State University's all artificial turf surface. Way outside. Good eye by Evan Carter. Go make him pitch to him. Two balls and no strikes, I think. Taylor to the belt. Brings it. Carter, way outside. Good eye, ball four. We got him loaded up and nobody out in the first inning. Ducks in the pond for Corey Russell. Russell comes into this game on the tournament batting five, five for 14. A double, a triple, and seven RBIs. Colton Miller will run. Out at first base for our starting pitcher, Evan Carter, I would think. It is, in fact, going to be a switch, and Carter will come to the dugout. And so, Meeting the mound by Coach Collins' his entire infield, Greenville and green t black tops, I should say. Green numbers, trim green numbers trimmed out in white and white bottoms you can see on the screen. So here we go, golden opportunity to plant men on board here in the first inning. Bases are juiced up for Corey Russell. Russell men on base, Russell batting a very healthy 573. So Corey Russell, orange men on all three bases here. Can he deliver? With Perkins on deck at the game-winning RBI Monday night. Taylor to the belt. Corey, first pitch. And he bat handle fouls it back our way. Strike one. Corey Russell in the season. One home run, 45 RBIs, six doubles. Leads the club in triples. He and Wetzel with four each. Base is juice. Nobody out. Can we deliver here? Can Corey bring home the bacon? He brings it. And a pitch strike called. He's down. No balls and two strikes. Hello to Joe Nix and Vic White and Betty Lacey and Jerry McNeil and Andy Thaxton. We are top of the first. Orange clad Cyclones at every base here. Trying to get it going here in the top of the first inning. Brings it. Corey pops him up, foul ground. A lot of area. Can he make the catch? First baseman, and he does. Runner comes halfway down the line. Eggleston goes back in. There's one away. Corey pops out to the first baseman and foul ground. It's Evan Perkins' turn. Well, you've got to, you have got to produce in this situation. Top of the first, regional championship, bases loaded. You've got to produce. It's just that simple. Perkins game-winning RBI of the night. Evans is 31st RBI of the season. Evan Perkins, 7 for 17 with four RBIs in the five-game tournament. Taylor brings it, and it's a strike called. On deck will be Logan Estep. Single, single walk. We're loaded up here. Eggleston a third, Wetzel at second, and Colt Miller running for Carter at first. Pitching. Fly ball down the right field line. That is backing out of play. The Greenville, bull, the Greenville bullpen rather has already started. And defensively, Avery Collins behind the plate. Brant, Braden Spano at first. Bruce Buchanan at second. Augustus Fraley at short. Third base is Jordan Idell for Greenville. Outfield, Caleb Norris in left. Dalton McLean in center. C.J. Henley in right. And a fly ball, it may fall into center field. It does, base hit, and it's misplay with the center fielder. One run scores, Wetzel gets a green line. Here comes the throw, here's the relay. He's in, sliding to nothing. 
Great effort by the center fielder. Dalton McLean came a hard charge and fell in front of him. It's a big, big two-run single for Evan Perkins, and he continues to swing a most productive stick for the Elizabethan Cyclone offense. It's 2 nothing Cyclones, and it continues now for Logan Estep. So Perkins drops one in behind second base in front of the charging center fielder two score, and it's a 2 nothing ball game in the top of the first, and it continues now for Logan Estep. He stepped five for 14 in the tournament, a double and a home run, and he's driven in two, walked three times, scored four times. Runner still at second and first. Taylor brings it, and a check swing, bat handle foul to the first base dugout, strike one. RBIs for Perkins, 32 and 33, and big ones that they are. It's a spot us a 2 nothing lead here in the top of the first inning. So he stepped, DHing for your right fielder, Lawson Wagner, tonight. Taylor to the belt. Runner still out there at second and first, only one out. Swing and a miss. He's in the hold 0 and 2. Single Eggleston, single Wetzel. Carter walks to load him up. Corey pops out of the first baseman to foul ground, and Perkins drops a two run single in front of the charging center fielder to plate Eggleston and Wetzel. Two runs on three base hits already here in this first inning for the Elizabethan Cyclones. Trying to get back home Friday night. Taylor brings it. Swing and a miss. He steps. Strikes out swinging. Two down. Two out of the inning, and it brings up Matthew Daly. Daly, six for 14 in the tournament. Three RBIs. Curtis running first now. That'll be Carson Dillard running. For Evan Perkins, your catcher. Sing get his shin guards on and get ready for the bottom of the first. Daly on the season. Matthew Daly. Batting 309, no homers and 15 RBIs. Brings it way inside, ball one. 2 0 Elizabeth, and here in the top of the first in the regional championship. If you win, you're at home Friday night. Hello, Shirley Frost Wetzel. Hello to Frank Peters. We're playing at Thomas Stadium at East Tennessee State. Bullpen busy for Greenville down the right field line. Taylor brings it. And as a pitch upstairs, popping a cow and misses, and it's. 2-0. At second base, Colton Miller running for Evan Carter. At first base is Dillard running for Perkins. Pitching and a strike called. So Matthew Daly. Which we're here thanks to Evan Perkins' outstanding clutch bottom of the seventh inning RBI single Monday night to eliminate West Green. Pitching. And it's struck called on Matthew Daly. Base hit brings you home with two out. Everybody running. Two balls and two strikes. Base hit anywhere. Get yourself another run here. Hello, Thomas Dillard. Taylor to the bell. Checks him at second and first. And Daly ground ball. Base hit. Left field. Rounding third. Colton Miller. He gets a green light. It's a 3 nothing first inning ball game. Daly slaps it in the left field. RBI for Matthew Daly. It's a big one. 3 0 in Daly. Drives home RBI number 16 for Matthew Daly. Scoring Colton Miller. Running for Evan Carter. It's a 3 0 ball game. Base hit number four. The inning it continues now for Jacob Mullins, who plays left field tonight. Taylor brings it. Way inside, ball one. So Daly, his 16th RBI of the season. Huge in this ballgame. 3 nothing. Cyclones in the top of the first. Swing and a miss. Pitch upstairs. Three-man crew working this one tonight, by the way. As you can see on the screen. First base home plate and the second and third base umpire. Out between second and third. Pitching, way outside. Good eye by two balls and a strike to Jacob Mullins on deck will be Nick Johnson. Single Eggleston, single Wetzel, two-run single Perkins, RBI single daily. Two, three-nothing ball game. This one is downstairs three and one. Good eye. We do 
appreciate East Tennessee State on short notice allowing us to come broadcast here tonight and play here tonight. 3-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Ran it in on him. Full count. So three balls and one strike to your two-out batter. Lispy Taylor, long first inning for the starting pitcher for Greenville. Brings it. And a little flare right in behind first on pitcher's mound. Could be trouble. He fields it, and he got him by a half step. Nice recovery by the pitcher. Bobbled the ball in behind the pitcher's mound and recovered and threw him out. And a bang, bang play at first, and that's the inning. But a good one for the lads from Elizabeth. And three runs, four hits, no errors. We leave two. After a half inning, Cyclones three. Green will come up against Evan Carter. You're listening to 2018 Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. $10,500 in Dow payment assistance, and you could be eligible. That's right. Appalachian Community Federal Credit Union, helping more than 50 families achieve home ownership. And for many, down payment assistance has meant the difference between renting and owning. You could be eligible. For more information, go to the web at myacfcu.org. Appalachian Community Federal Credit Union, with brand Ranches in Gray, Johnson City, Rogersville, Kingsport, Jonesboro, Norton, Virginia, in Kentucky, Berea, McKee, and Boonville, Kentucky. MyACFCU.org. $10,500 in down payment assistance, and you could be eligible. For more information, simply call 1-800-378-3778 or go to the web at MyACFCU.org. Dot O-R-G. Appalachian Community Federal Credit Union, proud member of Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Evan Carter goes to work making his ninth check that seventh start of the season. A record of three and four in 30 innings of baseball. Carter, 36 hits, 24 runs, 17 of those earned. Walked 12 and struck out 32. He'll go to work on the lead man, Dalton McLean, for Greenville. Pitch outside, ball one of this first inning's underway for the Green Devils. Winner gets home field advantage Friday night. The loser travels to either Alcoa or Pigeon Forge for the right to get to the state tournament next week in Murfreesboro. Pitching, swinging, upstairs, nice pitch. Made him chase a bad one, one on one. We have told you throughout the course of this broadcasting season that once Evan Carter he gets through that first inning, he really tightens down the screws as the game goes on. Here's a fly ball left field, well tagged, but right there to make the catch. Nice job, Jacob Mullins. Played it perfectly on a deep drive, but Dalton McLean went down. He gave it a ride. McLean angling towards that left field foul line. Hauls it in for one away to start the Greenville first inning at bat. Here's Augustus Fraley, the Greenville Green Devil shortstop. Of course, if you're looking ahead of the football season, and we are, it starts August 17th. The Cyclones make a trip to Burley Stadium in Greenville this year. Here's the first pitch, and it's foul back. 3-0 Elizabeth, the bottom of the first inning. One out here. Hello to Thomas Dillard, and Shirley Frost-Wetzel says, Go Cyclones, and go Ryan Wetzel. Defensively, Perkins behind the plate. Daly at third. Shortstop, Russell. Second base, Eggleston. First base, Johnson. All-speed pitch misses upstairs, one on one Mullins in left field, Wetzel in center field, and Lawson Wagner in right field defensively. Evan Carter brings it. Popped him up. Shallow center field going back. Corey Russell coming in. Wetzel, Corey says his mind. Six steps out on the artificial surface. And there's two down. Russell camps under, squeezes the cowhide, and makes the catch. Two down to the first, and here's Jordan Adele. Lady Cyclone scheduled to be playing against Unicoi County tonight. I'm not sure if that's being played or not with the field conditions in Elizabethan. Carter brings it. First pitch, foul back, strike one. This is your third baseman, Jordan Idell. The Wetzels and Hendricks family listening in down in Tallahassee, Florida. Hello, that's down in Seminole country. And an all-speed pitch, Bell High misses, and it's one-on-one. One of the all-time great play-by-play guys, at least I think so. 
Gene Deckerhoff, the voice of the Florida State Seminoles. That guy can call a ball game. Down in Tallahassee, Florida. Hello to the Wetzels and the Hendricks listening. Here's a foul back. One ball, two strikes to your two-out batter, Jordan Idell. We're in the top of the bottom of the first, rather. Cyclones truck for three in the top of the inning. Lead it three nothing. On four base hits. Second inning will be Johnson, Eggleston, and Wetzel. Nine, one, and two in the lineup. Carter brings it upstairs and inside and tight. And it's two balls and two strikes now to your two-out batter. Carter delivers. Line shot foul ball down the third baseline. Carter likes to pitch from the stretch even with the bases empty. And Evan Carter with 30 innings of pitching and 32 strikeouts under his belt. That tells you very effective out there. Virtually a strikeout an inning. Carter to the belt, delivers, pops him up. Shallow center field, going out Eggleston, coming in Wetzel, it's gonna be Wetzel's all the way, and he makes the catch. He waves off, that's basic baseball. Outfielder has the call, and Wetzel takes the towering pop. It's a one, two, three inning for your starter, Evan Carter. We go to the second inning, we played one in the Region 1 AA Championship. Your score, Elizabeth and three, Greenville nothing. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at FCA.org. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here at the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, we follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers, comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. We go to the second inning. Again, new man on the mound for the Greenville Green Devils as Taylor is done after one inning. As the Cyclones hit him for and rough him up for three runs on four base hits, your new man pitching is Keelan Newton. So, new man on the mound. Let's see what the Cyclones can do with him. We go to the second inning. It is Nick Johnson's turn to play. His first look today at Greenville pitching. Three for 16 in postseason. Newton brings it. Johnson takes it downstairs, ball one. Nick batting 259 on the season, no homers and 13 RBIs. And pitch misses downstairs again, 2 0. Lights are popping on here at Thomas Stadium. Actually, with all the rain today, we got more rain coming later on this evening, but it's right now okay. Ground ball to the first baseman. He'll run to the bag and put the Big right foot on the bag to beat his counterpart, Nick Johnson, at first. So unassisted play for the first baseman. And there's one down. We go to the top of the order. Nice job defensively there by Braden Spano for Greenville. Three nothing Cyclones. Top of the second. Here's Eggleston. Got a starter with a single and came around to score low. Tommy Richardson. Thank you for watching and listening. And a strike called Ethan Eggleston. So Taylor Gillespie, three runs on four base hits. Struck out a batter, but had a tough outing at first inning. And a pitch misses downstairs, one and one. Good eye by Eggleston. As we were saying, with more rain coming later on this evening, right now a very pleasant evening here at the ballpark. Newton delivers, shot back up the middle, knocked 
Kind of flagged a little bit and got him by a half step. Flagged somewhat with the pitcher's glove, enabling the shortstop, Fraley, to get over there and pick it up and gun him down. There's two down, six to three in the put out. Here's Ryan Wetzel. Wetzel singled and scored his first time up. Wetzel came in batting 421 in the run department. Ryan Wetzel scored his 44th run of the season. He easily leads the club in that category. Got folks listening down in Tallahassee. Squares the bunt. Strike called to number one. Top of the second. 3 nothing Elizabethan. If you win, you're at O'Brien Stadium Friday night. It's just that simple. And if you lose, you travel. No matter where you play Friday night, either Alcoa or Pigeon Forge or Elizabeth. And if you win, we're off to the big dance next week. Newton, Wetzel, pops him up, shallow right field. Henley says it's mine, and he'll make the catch. It's a 1-2-3 inning. Cyclones go in order in the second after putting three on the board of the first. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Evan Carter back out for inning number two. It is 3 nothing Elizabeth, and you're listening to 2018 Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball, brought to you by Chick-fil-A. Welcome to the Mini Morning News Show, where we are so excited about Chick-fil-A's chicken minis for breakfast that we've minified the news. In real estate news, tiny homes for those who like everything within arm's reach. In culinary news, micro food, because, you know, small plates. In entertainment news, this year it's all about the mini series. In pop culture news, mini everything. Because, aww. All right, thanks for listening. Now go put some mini in your morning with the chicken you love for breakfast. Chick-fil-A's Chicken Minis until 10.30 a.m. This is Andrew McKeon, president of Carter County Bank. Carter County is blessed with amazing characteristics. Natural beauty, caring people, and locally owned small businesses all make our community one of the best places in America to live. Remember to support Carter County small businesses with your purchases, because for every $100 you spend at a Carter County owned business, $45 stays here to create local jobs and support our schools. When you spend $100 at a national chain store, only $14 remains in our community. So no matter where you roam, hurry back home. Let's pull together to support local business and make our community even better. Carter County Bank is big on small business. Locally owned and managed to support our first priority, Carter County, and the people who live here. Visit any of our... Well, if his man knows he's been undressing on, <laughs> on live stream. There you go. Nice. There you go. We just had a fashion show. Here's Taylor. I'm not sure what the count was. The, the man putting on the fashion show couldn't see what the plate was going on. <laughs> oh, inside and skip to the backstop. Bottom of the second, 3 0 Elizabeth. Evan Carter working against Jacques Gillespie Taylor. Sarah Snavely says, Go Cyclones, you got it. Carter delivers. It's a slow ground ball to Johnson at first. Three hops. He'll throw to Carter covering. They do that time and time and time again. And they do it very well. Three to one of the put out. One away. Carter's retired his first four. Here's Braden Spano. S P A N O. Two balls and no strikes to Spano, the first baseman. Three nothing. Carter's retired the first four he's faced here in the ball game. In the bottom of the second inning. Evan Carter to the belt delivers upstairs and it's three and oh.
Potter gets his sign from Evan Perkins. Sets his sights, and here he brings the plate with an outside ball, four on four. First walk and first base runner for Greenville. Here's Caleb Norris, the left fielder. So for Evan Carter, walk number 13 of the season. And this is 32nd inning of work. So here's the right hand batting left fielder for Greenville. Johnson holds on the runner at first. First pitch, upstairs, ball one. So Carter, four in a row now. He's thrown out of the strike zone. Other side of the bracket is, as we told you earlier, Alcoa and Pigeon Forge playing tonight. Here's a chopper to Daly. Takes him that second hop, throws to first, pulls him off the bag, E5. Matthew Daly tried to short hop it, and E5, and that puts it first with one out. The next two men on board, tying run to the plate now for catcher Avery Collins. First air of the ball game now for the Elizabethan defense. Short hopped it. Daly filled it cleanly, but a throw pulled Johnson way off the bag at first. And you've got him at second and first. One out, tying run to the plate. Here's Collins. And a strike call. Nice pitch right down the heart of the plate by Evan Carter. Hello, Jack Henry. I don't know if that's Jack Henry in Kingsport or not. One of the good guys, I guess it is. Jack Henry, many, many years, if it in fact is, shot camera for DB football back in the day. Carter to the belt, brings it. And a big curveball, strike call. Whoa, that, even the crowd went, woo, that one cut from up here. One and one. Three nothing, Elizabeth at the bottom of the second. Greenville's got something going here. One out and runners at second and first. Bad handle pop. In around shortstop. Corey Russell says it's mine and he will make the catch right beside Eggleston. Two down. Two out of the inning for Jake Goodwin, the designated hitter. And the winners at home Friday night. The other games played today, scheduled. I know the girls' softball game has been pushed back to 7 o'clock in Elizabethan. Triple-A baseball, Science Hill at Seymour tonight at 7 o'clock. First pitch, pops him up, foul ground. Daly crosses the chalk and foul ground, says it's mine, and he makes the catch, Matthew Daly. Pops and foul ground, and the Green Devils are gone in the second inning. No runs, no hits, one error. They leave two. We play two. We go to the third inning at Thomas Stadium at East Tennessee State. Your score, Elizabeth and three, Greenville nothing. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball here for 2018. Brought to you by great folks like Blackburn Childers and Stagall. Blackburn Childers and Stagall, providing tax, accounting, and audit services in East Tennessee for over 50 years. Blackburn Childers and Stagall, the region's largest firm, and serves individuals, family businesses, health care, nonprofits, manufacturers, and many more industries. Blackburn Childers and Stagall's Wealth Management, celebrating their 20th anniversary this year. BCS Wealth Management is a full-service financial firm, providing personal financial planning, investments, and group benefits. For more information, please call 423-282-4511. That's 282-4511. Eleven or on the web at bcscpa.com. That's bcscpa.com. Blackburn, Childers, and Stagall, proud sponsor of Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. First pitch to Evan Carter, start to third, misses downstairs, ball one. Carter walked, and Colt Miller running for him, scored that three-run first inning. Three runs and four hits. And a pitch outside, good eye by Evan Carter. Two balls and no strikes to Carter. And Evan came into the ball game tonight, batting 390. Here's a ground ball, hit, maybe tough. Roaming to his left, throws, and he safe for first base. We'll give him an infield hit. His speed got him that one, even though the first baseman juggled and ultimately dropped the ball. Infield hit for Evan Carter. Base hit number five for the Cyclones. 
And the lead man's on here. Carter should get a courtesy runner by Colton Miller, I think. Let's see. Nope. So leave him out there for the time being. Base at number five, Elizabeth. And here is Corey Russell. Popped out in foul ground. The first baseman. Runner going. Hitting runs on. Shoots into the Greenville dugout. Foul ball. Strike one. Corey batting 396 coming into the ball game with men on base. Smoking it at 573. In Science Hill, Seymour, in Triple A tonight at Seymour. In the Single A, University High and Greenback tonight at 6 o'clock. All those with an asterisk, of course, weather permitting. Newton, another throw to first. Carter stretches out. He got picked off Monday night, but he stretches that big frame back and gets in safely at first. Good, good eye by Evan Carter. Carter in postseason now his seventh base hit in postseason. Newton delivers and a fly ball to right field. Could be trouble. Right fielder coming in. He'll make the catch on the fly. Henley hauls it in. One away. And Corey Russell's retired here in the inning for Evan Perkins. The big hit so far. The two run. Big two run single for Evan Perkins. To play Wetzel and Eggleston back in the first inning has been the difference. Richard Tester says go Cyclones. In softball, AAA, you got Morristown East at Jeff County tonight. Utica County, Elizabeth, and that plays at seven. Throw to first, and Carter's back in a little closer that time. And in single A softball, all weather permitting, North Green at Unica tonight. So, again, the Lady Cyclones will play at seven o'clock this evening. Pitch is downstairs, ball one to Evan Perkins. Top of the third, one out, one on here. Three nothing Cyclones. Throw to first, Carter back in, and that's. Another close throw to first. Spano puts a tag on him, but Evan Carter stretches out that big long frame and gets back in there safely to the downfield side of the bag. Delivers. Fly ball. Base hit in the center field for Evan Perkins. Carter misplayed the center fielder. He just quit on the ball. Carter round third. Carter's coming in. Perkins coming to third. It's a 4 0 ball game, Cyclones. The center fielder. Just quit on the baseball. I've not seen that in a long time. That one rolled through the wick. He didn't bother to go get it. He just let it roll out there. His right fielder had to cover for him. And when the smoke clears, the Cyclones have Carter in from first. And at third base stands Perkins. RBI single Perkins are checked out a single with a two-base error by the center fielder. I'll tell you what, when I played, if you – oh, baby – you wouldn't even thought when I played baseball not to just quit on the ball. He let that one get by him. He didn't turn around and go run after. He just stood there. The right fielder had to track it down. We thank you for that because that puts our fourth run on the scoreboard. Here's each step. And a pitch upstairs, ball one. So Carter scores. Perkins two for two. Air charge to the center fielder. Perkins stands at third. Still only one out. Here's Logan East step. A 4-0 Cyclone lead here. And base hit number six now for Elizabeth in baseball. Newton delivers. And a bat foul ball going down the line, giving chase, and it will fall back into the bullpen area here at a very, very pretty Thomas Stadium. This place is, I don't know if the right adjective is majestic or not, but it's very, very nice. Newton, runner at third. He step, bounced up there, gets away from the catcher, but not far enough to do damage. And great eye by Logan E step. E step, your DH tonight. Two and two count. E step, struck out swinging his first time up. Infield hit Carter. Fly ball right field Russell. And a strike. Strike out Logan E step. And there's two away. That's Newton's first punch out of the ball game. Here's Matthew Daly, RBI single, his first time up. Carter infield hit. Corey Russell flies out the right. Perkins a single, misplayed by the center fielder who just quit on the ball. Allowing Carter to score from first. It's 4 0, and then he steps strikes out just now. There's a bad handle. I'm sorry, belt out pitch outside, called strike to Matthew Daly. 
So Perkins Curtis the runner creeping off the bag down at third. He's less than 90, about 87 feet away now. See if Daly can bring him in. Way outside. Good backhand by Avery Collins. We're in the top of the third. Cyclones have struck for another run. It's 4-0. Newton working against your starter, Evan Carter, who's had a great start in his baseball game. Daly, inside strike call, ran it on the corner. Inside part of the play to Matthew Daly. Two balls and one strike now to Daly. On deck will be Jacob Mullins for the Cyclones. Newton brings it, and it's an end of the background ball to the pitcher. He'll go to first, and that is the inning. One run on two hits, one error, we leave one. We go to the bottom of the third. Cyclones put another run on the board. They lead four nothings. We go to the bottom of the third. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball, brought to you by great folks from ACFCU. $10,500 in Dow payment assistance, and you could be eligible. That's right. Appalachian Community Federal Credit Union, helping more than 50 families achieve home ownership. And for many, down payment assistance has meant the difference between renting and owning. You could be eligible. For more information, go to the web at myacfcu.org. Appalachian Community Federal Credit Union, with branches in Gray, Johnson City, Rogersville, Kingsport, Jonesboro, Norton, Virginia, in Kentucky, Berea, McKee, and Boonville, Kentucky. My AC fcu.org ten thousand five hundred dollars in down payment assistance and you could be eligible for more information simply call 1-800-378-3778 or go to the web at myacfcu.org appalachian community federal credit union proud member of elizabeth and cyclone baseball We go to the bottom of the third inning. Yours truly, Tom Taylor, Mike side from Thomas Stadium at East Tennessee State University. Not on the campus, but right down the street from the campus. A beautiful ballpark. First time I've been in there. And it is very, very, very nice. 9-1-2 and two in the Greenville third inning. Here's Bryce Buchanan. And a bunt attempt misses. On his attempt, it's a call strike for Carter to start the third inning. Buchanan top of the order, McLean and Fraley, 9-1 and 2 in the Greenville third. Carter, outside, 1-1. A lot of big league baseball games today. We'll try and bring those to you here in just a moment. Again, the Lady Cyclones play at 7 o'clock here. First pitch against Unicoi County, meeting number 6. This is a strike call. Nice pitch. Caught the outside corner. One and two now to the ninth man of the lineup. Second baseman Bryce Buchanan. Carter, the one-two offering playward. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on him. Strikeout swinging. One down. Evan Carter records strikeout number one of the ball game, number 33 of 2018. Top of the order is McLean, who had a deep fly ball to Jacob Mullins in left field, and he remembers that he's backing up out in left field. Carter, first pitch, way outside, good block by Perkins, ball one. Johnson at first, Eggleston at second, shortstop Russell, and the third is Matthew Daly. Left field, Mullins, center field, Wetzel, right field, Lawson, Wagner. Carter, 1-0 pitch, upstairs 2-0. Greenville looking for their first hit of the ball game. They've had a base runner, two base runners on a walk and an air, and that's been it. Swing and a miss, ran it in on him. Nice pitch by Carter. Two balls and a strike to your lead man, or one out batter, I should say, Dalton McLean. Way outside, ball three, three and one. On deck would be shortstop Augustus Fraley. We're in the home half of the third of a scheduled seven. Carter, 3-1 pitch. Ground ball. Behind the bag of third, Daly. And it is a foul ball.
McLean runs a full count now, three and two. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Made him chase a bad pitch out of the strike zone. Two down. Two away. Strikeout number two of the ball game. Number 34 now. And your two out batter is Augustus Fraley. Popped out to short is only a bat to Corey Russell back in the first. So Carter back to back punch outs. 33 and 34 on the season. His second, first and second of the ball game. Swing, first pitch, ground ball. Daly knocks it down a third, comes up throwing, can't do it. Infield hit, but a great job of Daly. Matthew dove to his left, stretched out his frame, sacrificed the body, infield base hit. But a great job of Daly to keep it on the infield. He came up and tried to ride himself, but with speed, Fraley running down the first base line for a two-out infield hit. And the first hit of the ball game for Greenville. Here's Jordan Idell. Adele popped out to Wetzel in the first inning. First pitch, almost the same thing. Fly ball, Wetzel. Over to his left, about 12 steps, makes the catch. First pitch, out number three, and we've got three of the books here. We go to the fourth inning. Your score, Elizabethan four, Greenville nothing. You're listening to 2018 Elizabethan Cyclone Baseball, brought to you by Tri-Cities Health. Tri-Cities Health at 2208 West Elk Avenue in Elizabethan wants to help you develop a roadmap to get you healthy again. They offer individualized, state-of-the-art diagnostic testing and treatment plans to help you achieve optimal health. They can help you with anxiety, depression, asthma and allergies, back pain, cholesterol, fatigue, headaches and migraines, high blood pressure, poor sleep, restless leg syndrome, thyroid problems, weight gain, and weight loss, fibromyalgia, and DOT physicals, just to name a few. They're a phone call away at 543-7000. 543-7000. Listening is the key to getting at the root cause of your health issues. And again, that will help you develop a roadmap to get you healthy again. For more information, call today. Tri-Cities Health in Elizabethan at 543-7000. A proud sponsor of Elizabethan Cyclone Baseball. We go to the fourth inning, and it's a 4 nothing ball game for the Cyclones. It'll be 8-9-1. Mullins, Johnson, top daughter, Eggleston. Evan Carter's putting on the show out here, pitching tonight for the Elizabeth and Cyclones. Hello to Ricky Walters. Again, hello to the Wetzels and the Hendricks down in Tallahassee, Florida, watching tonight. And Joe Nixon, Colorado, watching. Thank you. Here's Mullins. Tap back the box to end the first inning. On then pitcher, Jacques Gillespie-Taylor misses ball one. This is Newton's third inning of work. We're in the top of the fourth. Four nothing Cyclones. Newton delivers. Belt high strike called. Your three inning totals. Elizabeth and four runs, six hits, one error. They left three. Three inning totals for Greenville. No runs on one hit. They've committed that one costly error for the center fielder, and they've stranded three. Newton, ground ball. Right back to him. He fields third base side of the mound. Throws and got him. One away. Back-to-back putouts by your pitcher. One down, here's Johnson, who grounded out to his counterpart, Nick Johnson, down to first. For his only at bat to lead off the second inning. First pitch, base hit to right field, Johnson. In between the second baseman and the first baseman, and Johnson a one-out hit. And for the Cyclones, hit number seven of the ball game. Top of the order now. For Ethan Eggleston. Eggleston, a single run scored and grounded out to the shortstop. Let's give you the big league scoreboard update that we have here for the moment. Eggleston, strike call, caught the outside corner. Phillies beat the Orioles this afternoon, 4-1. to one. Cleveland over Detroit, 6 nothing. These are finals. Stephen A. Smith on my, somehow is on my computer screen. I'd rather watch paint dry here, this guy. I don't care one thing what he has to say about anything. That's just me. Cardinals beat the Twins, 7-5. to five. Blue Jays all over New York beat the Mets, 12-1. to one. Tampa Bay, 5. Kansas City, 3. These are finals. And into the bat foul. 
third base side for Eggleston. I don't know about you. I just, I don't know why I saw his name and his face pop up on my screen here. Could give two hoots what Stephen A. Smith says about anything. Rangers over the Mariners, 5-1. to one. That's a final. To Eggleston, good eye, ran it in on him. Ethan Eggleston. Johnson at first with a one-out single here in the top of the fourth inning. 4 nothing Elizabethan. If you win, you're at home Friday night. The chance to get to the state tournament. Shoots it foul again. Good eye by Eggleston. Giving a good hit. Two balls and two strikes to Eggleston. Reds beat the Giants. That's the final. 6-3 to three this afternoon, the Bigs. 2-2 two -two pitch. Way inside. Ball three. Good eye by Eggman. Top, top of the order. Eggleston's running to a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Winners at home Friday night. Loser travels to either Alco or Pigeon Forge. And if you win Friday night, you're heading off to the state tournament next week in Murfreesboro, which is the objective of all these teams. Payoff pitch, bat handle foul, backing out of play by Eggleston. The count stays full. Don't forget to get signed up for the 16th annual Jason Witten Youth Football Camp coming up Father's Day weekend, June 16th, not that far away. Session one from 9 to noon. For ages 7 through 12, session two. Will be from 1.30 to 4.30. Throw to first, back in standing is Nick Johnson. Session two from 1.30 to 4.30 will be for ages 13 through 18. Go on the web, jasonwitten 82 the number, dot com. Payoff pitch inside, ball four, and Eggleston and the Cyclones got something going here. Johnson trots to second, the Eggman goes to first, one out, two men on, here's Wetzel. A single and a fly out to right, he's one for two. Thank you, Johnny Burleson. I didn't know it was just me. Hello to Joseph Taylor. I, I don't turn on the TV to hear somebody rant and rave all the time. I'm just sorry. Here's a slow ground ball, which is foul, third base side. And that seems to be what, every time I've turned the guy on, that's what I see anyway. And God bless him, he makes, I'm sure, a whole lot more money than I do. But his opinions to me matter absolutely nada about anything. In fact, when I see him on, I just turn him off. But that's just me. Hello, Johnny Burleson. Appreciate you, my friend. And Ricky Walters. Cyclone's got something going here. Up 4 nothing in the fourth, trying to add to it. Newton in a pickle here. He's got runners at second and first, one out. Ball and stat back to the box. Johnson seeing I sing I single to right. Eggleston walks. You got him at second and first. One out, two men on here with Wetzel to play. See if he can deliver a big time hammer right here. Newton delivers. Wetzel off speed pitch, strike call. Nice pitch for Newton. Wetzel hits 542 with men on. He's a 19 RBI man here in 2018. Lady Cyclones start here in just a few minutes in Elizabeth against Unicoi County. Hello, Angie Peters watching. Newton brings it way outside, set up on the outside part of the play, misses. That wasn't even close. He tried to paint the corner, but that was not even anywhere in the vicinity of the corner of that plate, which is to our liking. Two and one now to Ryan Wetzel. Top of the fourth, trying to add more to a four nothing lead. Newton now steps off the rubbers. The shortstop fairly circles in behind Nick Johnson. Of course, Coach Presnell right there saying, pay attention, and he got right back to the base path. Base, I should say, in the base path. The second base back. Newton. Fly ball. Does it fall? It does. Single for Wetzel. Johnson will stop at third, and he'll put the brakes on right there. Johnson hesitated between second and third, and Coach P visiting with him down there right now saying you've got to listen to me and pay attention we got him loaded up second base hit of the inning number eight of the ball game now and you've got him cyclones at all three bases one out for evan carter who's got a walk a run scored an infield hit he's one for one and carter 
batting 590 with men on base. So another golden opportunity for the Cyclones here in the top of the fourth inning. Newton delivers. Carter watches miss down and away ball one. Evan Carter with 44 knocks on the season. Johnson to third, Eggleston at second, Wetzel at first, base is jammed here, swing and a miss. On deck is Corey Russell. We're in the top of the fourth, Cyclones lead 4-0. Three runs in the first and a big one in the last frame and we're knocking on the door again here with Johnson 90 feet away. Newton brings it. Carter way inside, almost hitting. Good eye by Evan. Well, the one guy I'd like to see get untracked here in postseason, he's after beating the MVP of the district tournament, Corey Russell struggled today in Monday against West Green. Carter hits a line shot to the third baseman, races back to third. Great job of Johnson to beat him back to base, and it's two down. Carter hit a Rocket to the third baseman who played it perfectly, Jordan Idell, and tries to beat Johnson back to the bag for double play ball, cannot. Two outs in the inning. Here is Corey Russell. Hello, Chuck Carroll. Base is occupied by orange and black cyclones. All three bases. Let's see if Corey can drive on some. Four nothing, Elizabeth, and trying to add to it here in the top of the fourth. Newton to Russell and it misses outside. Avery Collins framed it but to no avail. Ball one. So tonight you're playing for home field advantage. Friday night is the one that counts because Friday night gets you a ticket to Murfreesboro. But obviously you want to be playing at home. Cyclone team has won five in a row now. Way outside. Good backhand by Collins. If he doesn't make that catch, it's a 5 nothing ball game because Johnson was halfway down the line at third. Two balls and no strikes to Corey Russell is going to make him work here. Base is loaded two out of the top of the fourth. Newton for Greenville brings it way outside ball three. You know the old adage, walk it you run here and runs or runs any way you slice it. Bullpen Active again down the right field line for the Green Devils. We used our number one guy Monday night. What a job he did, Trey Shown. 3-0 pitch taken all the way, and it's ball four on four. Run in, RBI Russell. In from third, Nick Johnson, big insurance run. It's 5-0. Eggleston drops the third. Trotting out the second is wet, so Corey Russell gets credit with an RBI. Bases loaded walk. RBI number 46 now for our shortstop. And here is the man of the hour, Evan Perkins, two for two and two RBIs tonight. Downstairs, ball one, almost. In fact, it is the same situation we had Monday night. Had the bases loaded against West Green. He delivered a huge game-winning single to end the season for West Green. And strike called, one and one. Hello, Wanda Jones. Bases low to Perkins, and it's a base hit, left field, one run scores, two run scores, Perkins does it again, they're going to clear the bases, here comes the relay, here comes the throw, there is no throw, and he's done it again, holy tamole, the money man, Evan Perkins has done it again, bases clearing double for our catcher, and it's a And Coach Collins will walk out here. Now, that may do it for him. If we get a Curtis runner Dillard out at second base, Perkins will come to the third base dugout and get all kinds of high fives. Evan Perkins delivers a bases clearing double. Two more, three more RBIs now for Perkins, and so that gives him five for the evening. And Newton will be done. Third Greenville pitcher coming in. So Johnson has scored. Eggleston has scored. Wetzel has scored, and Corey Russell has scored. we got four in now this inning. On one, two, three base hits. It's an 8-0 ball game. 
So East Apple, we'll see this third picture by the Greenville Green Devils. Let's see who this young man is. 20. Let's see if I can get him to spin around here and catch his name. You tell, hey man, how's it going? And we got our third picture of the ball game. We've chased Taylor, we've now chased Newton. And so East Step will go to work on this third pitcher, 25. And this young man is Aiden Cheney. Aiden, A-Y-D-E-N, Cheney. Four runs on one, two, three base hits here in the frame for the Cyclones. They've now jumped out to an eight nothing lead in the fourth. And for Evan Perkins, a five RBI night for our catcher. And for Evan Perkins, that will give him RBIs on the season now. 36. He is three for three now. You're talking about a guy that's grooving it? He is grooving it. Base is clearing double for Evan Perkins. Hello, Barb Robinson. Justin Smith says, that a boy, Perkins. Four runs on three hits, and Dillard running for Perkins out at second. Here's the step. Two strikeouts beside his name tonight. Third pitcher, Aiden Chaney for Greenville. Cyclones lead at 8-0 in the top of the fourth. And a belt high fastball strike call. Nice pitch. Mullins tap back the box to start it. Johnson single in the right. Eggleston walks. Wetzel singles in the center. Carter hits a rope to the third baseman for out number two. Cheney, the right-hander. Big breaking ball, strike two call, nice pitch. Corey Russell, a bases loaded walk. For an RBI, and then Perkins clears him with a three-run double, and it's eight nothing. Cheney, bounced up there, runner coming to third. Dillard, here's the throw, he's in easily. Dillard can scoot. Perkins Curtis runner down to third. Hello, Miss the First Lady of Milligan Basketball, Barb Robinson. He stepped trying to drive home now. Another RBI for the Cyclones here in the fourth. Carter will have an eight-run advantage to work with at the bottom of the fourth inning. Cheney inside and tight. Ran that one in on the hands of Logan Eastep. He is your DH tonight for the right fielder Lawson Wagner. So Evan Perkins, an RBI Monday night, game-winning RBI to eliminate West Green and five RBIs here this evening on a three-for-three three night for the catcher. Bell high fastball caught the corner, and that would be the inning, and he stepped struck out, and that'll do it. But for the Cyclones, a good one. Four runs, three hits, no errors. They leave one. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. It's 8 nothing Elizabethan in the Region 1 AA Championship. The game brought to you by the good, great folks from Sprint. Our great sponsor at Sprint giving you a chance to save at all Sprint stores across the Tri-Cities. When you go into any Sprint store and say you heard the Tom Taylor Sports Show or Elizabethan Cyclone Baseball, they'll give you 25% off or a fourth off any accessory in the store. That would include Urban Armor Gear cases, OtterBox cases, any screen protectors, tempered glass, 25% off, wireless charging stands, pop sockets, tablet cases, wireless chargers, battery packs are all 25% off when you say you heard the Tom Taylor Sports Show or Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. Also, Beats headphones, both the headphones and the earbuds, 25% off when you say you heard the show. Also, three-piece magnetic organizers, battery packs, tablet cases, JBL portable flip speakers. It goes on and on. Anything accessory in the store at any Sprint store in the Tri-Cities, say you heard the Tom Davis Sports Show and or Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball and save 25% off today at your Sprint store across the Tri-Cities. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Cyclones with an 8-0 lead here. They'll go to work on 4, 5, and 6. Here's Taylor. First pitch is a strike call, and this inning's underway. Evan Carter's given up one hit, the infield hit to Augustus Fraley last inning. Taylor hit to Johnson with Carter covering the first round number one of the second. Here's a ground ball to Corey. He charges it short. He fields, he guns, got him. One down. 
Six to three on the put out here in the fourth inning. Here's Braden Spano. He walked his first time up. Cyclones at 32 and eight on the season. Game number obviously 41. Sun's popped out here in Johnson City. Upstairs, ball one. Chelsea Bowling is watching. Hello, Chelsea Bowling. That's a new name. Thank you. Wanda Jones is way to go, Cyclones. This internet thing's amazing. And people last week watching from Venezuela. Is that not crazy? This one's strike call. Nice pitch. The only knock about this stadium from a broadcaster's perspective is I would put this upstairs on the second because you're still looking over top of the crowd here. Here's a high towering fly ball to right field. Lawson Wagner out there circling around and makes the catch. Played it perfectly, number 18, two away. Evan Carter has given up a walk and an infield hit and an error. That has been it so far for this Greenville offense. Here's Caleb Norris, who reached on the air by Matthew Daly back in the second inning. Carter to the belt, two outs in the inning. First pitch running inside, ball one. Bottom of the fourth, Elizabeth and eight, Greenville nothing. Hello, Brian Jenkins. Evan Carter delivers. Ground ball, slap foul, third base side. So big inning last frame, the bases clearing double by Evan Perkins and the two run single in the first inning by Perkins. Got a five RBI night. Coming off the game winning RBI Monday against West Green. Evan Perkins on fire right now to play for the Cyclones. Pitch misses upstairs and not by much. To the two out batter. Balls and the strikes, trying to put them out in order. One, two, three for the second time of the ball game. And that was a strike call. Nice pitch, two and two. Carter's got two punch outs in the game. And 34 on the season now for the sophomore right hander who's verbally committed to going to Duke. 2 2 offering. Line shot right to Corey Russell, one, two, three inning. Hit it on a rope. Corey went down on one knee and took the line shot, and that is the inning. One, two, three. We go to the fifth inning. Cyclones for the moment in the driver's seat. We played four. It's 8 nothing Elizabethan in the Region 1 AA Championship from Thomas Stadium at East Tennessee State University. Brought to you by our title sponsor, the great folks at Chick-fil-A. This is Elizabethan Cyclone Baseball. Welcome to the Mini Morning News Show, where we are so excited about Chick-fil-A's chicken minis for breakfast that we've minified the news. In real estate news, tiny homes for those who like everything within arm's reach. In culinary news, micro food, because, you know, small plates. In entertainment news, this year it's all about the mini series. In pop culture news, mini everything. Because, aww. All right, thanks for listening. Now go put some mini in your morning with the chicken you love for breakfast. Chick-fil-A's Chicken Minis until 10.30 a.m. And your four inning totals here at Thomas Stadium goes as follows. Elizabeth and eight runs, nine hits, one error. They left four. And so far for Greenville, no runs, one hit, one error. They've stranded three. We go to the fifth inning. It's all Elizabethan right now, trying to get back home to O'Brien Stadium on Friday night. And they're on their way. Here's Daly, seven, eight, nine. Daly, Mullins, and Johnson in the fifth inning of a scheduled seven. Hello, Greg Taylor, my dear, dear friend. Daly, belt high, fastball, misses outside, ball one. Matthew is RBI single, his 16th ribby of the year. Back in the first. Tap back the box in the third. He's one for two. This is inside. Good eye, Daly. And Aiden, A-Y-D-E-N, Aiden Chaney, the third pitcher used by Greenville. 
Cyclones with three in the first and four big ones in the fourth. The fly ball to right field, that could be trouble. Henley going out to get it, and he catches up to a nice job. Daly gave it a ride to the gap in right center field. C.J. Henley played it perfectly and hauls it in for out number one. Nice job with the Greenville right fielder. It's a long, long way to run. Harold Russell in Texas. Love your show. We're in Texas and it allows us to see our grandson, Corey, play. Well, that is what this is all about right here. It's my pleasure, sir. Foul back Mullins. Mullins back-to-back -back tapper to the box to end the first and to lead off or to be out number one to the fourth, I should say. So Mullins trying to get one past the pitcher in that eighth spot. Top of the fifth, eight nothing Cyclones. Upstairs, one on one. Yet another Green Devil warming up the bullpen down the right field line. Cyclones, three runs on four hits in that first frame. Strike call to Mullins. One ball, two strikes to Jacob Mullins. One run on two base hits in the third. Four runs on three hits last inning. Bounced up their good eye, two and two. Again, without a scoreboard or a PA system tonight. But we're just glad East Tennessee State said come play here because this is a beautiful, beautiful ballpark. Goodness, my first trip in here. Here's a line shot foul, third base side. He Slapped it past the third baseman, but on this side of the chalk. Two ball, two strike count. Daniel Wedding is the man of the hour. He is the godfather. He is save my bacon. I'm going to call him Ballydale. Save my bacon today. 2-2 two -two pitch, bat handle flare to the backstop. Collins mask off, couldn't catch up to it. He and Mike Ezekiel. Ezekiel's going to be on the sports show tomorrow. Bucks getting ready to head off to Wofford for a big, big weekend series for East Tennessee State Baseball. So Daniel Wedding is the man of the hour. He gets free lunch on me at Chick-fil-A. Pitching inside, misses, good eye. Four, nope, called third strike. A little delayed, but they up, two down. Mullins is gone. Strikeout number three for Greenville pitching. Here is Nick Johnson, a single and a ground out to his counterpart at first. The run scored. He's one for two in that nine hole. Yeah, this is this is a sweetheart ballpark here, I'm telling you. The strike call. Now, I've said this many times, these kids around here, they probably don't know how lucky they are to be able to play in these kind of ballparks. You got this one, you got O'Brien Stadium, home of the Mets, you got, of course, Cardinal Park, now TVA Credit Union. Here's a high towering pop in the infield. Second baseman says it's mine. Bryce Buchanan squeezes it. That's the inning. We go one, two, three, we go to the bottom of the fifth. Cyclones lead it eight to nothing. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball, brought to you by one of our great sponsors, the great folks from well, the great folks from Carter County Bank. This is Andrew McKeon, president of Carter County Bank. Carter County is blessed with amazing characteristics. Natural beauty, caring people, and locally owned small businesses all make our community one of the best places in America to live. Remember to support Carter County small businesses with your purchases. Because for every $100 you spend at a Carter County owned business, $45 stays here to create local jobs and support our schools. When you spend $100 at a national chain store, only $14 remains in our community. So no matter where you roam, hurry back home. Let's pull together to support local business and make our community even better. Carter County Bank is big on small business. Locally owned and managed to support our first priority, Carter County and the people who live here. Visit any of our branches or go online to cartercountybank.com. Carter County Bank is a division of Bank of Tennessee, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. We go to the bottom of the fifth, all Cyclones for the moment. Collins, Goodwin, and Buchanan, 7, 8, 9. Evan Carter, since the infield hit to Fraley back in the third, is retired. One, two, three, four in a row now. Hello, Frank Peters. Hello to Shirley Wetzel. Evan delivers first pitch, he turns and drives it deep, but foul, back in the bullpen, strike one. So the Russells are watching in Texas. I'm curious, what part of Texas are you dialed into? Harold Russell, hello, Ted Pate, hello, Frank Peters. Cyclones in control for the moment, eight nothing. 
Down the way, one on one now to Avery Collins, your catcher. Collins is only a bat, a pop to Corey Russell short in the second inning. Carter's spinning a one hit shutout right now. Evan brings it way outside, and it's two and one. Mullins at left, Wetzel in center, right field is Lawson Wagner. First base, Nick Johnson. Second base, Ethan Eggleston. Shortstop, Corey Russell. And third is Matthew Daly with the red-hot Evan Perkins behind the plate. There's a fly ball, shallow right field going out. Coming in, Lawson. Wagner makes the catch. Five in a row is retired. There's one down. Here's Jay Goodwin, the DH for the, second, for the right fielder of the C.J. Henley. Popped out in foul ground to Matthew Daly back in the second inning. It's only the second look these guys are getting in Carter. That's what kind of game he's throwing here. A one-hit shutout in the fifth. I think a rocket scientist to tell you that to go deep in high school, you got to have some arms, and we've got some arms. Strike called. Trey Shown with the job he did on Monday night. Now Evan Carter here tonight. Shown could come back Friday and pitch or not. That handle foul back and out of play. Trey Shown gave up three hits, struck out five. The Russells are in the Dallas area, heading to Tennessee. Well, come on in here. Coming into God's country. Tennessee, they're in the great state of Texas. Maybe they get to meet them. He can go up. He started to. He check swing held off on the pitch upstairs. Here's a good one. Carter to the belt. Evan brings it. Popped him up. Foul ground. Daly says, I got to draw a beat on it. Near the Cyclone dugout. Two down. Popped him out in foul ground. Second time Goodwin's done that to the same man, third baseman Matthew Daly. Two down to the inning for Bryce Buchanan. Struck out swinging to lead off the third. So Carter's retired six in a row now. This game, you can like it and share it. Of course, it'll be archived. Go back and watch it and listen to it or whatever you get the hankering to do. Pitch misses upstairs, ball one. Bottom of the fifth inning, Elizabeth and eight, Greenville nothing. Cyclones can hang on here. We'll be at O'Brien Stadium on Friday night for a whammer jammer. I can tell you that. Round ball. Corey, back hands in the hole. Pumps the roads. Got him. Oh, man. Oh, they caught him safe. Corey back into the hole. Planted that right foot on the outfield synthetic turf and threw a rocket. But a good job of Buchanan getting down the first and beat him out for an infield base hit. Great job by Russell at shortstop. But Buchanan, with speed, gets in for only the second hit of the ball game for Greenville. Top of the order is Dalton McLean. Hello to Amy Britt, says go Cyclones. Carter, outside ball one. So Augustus Fraley, a single in the third infield hit. Bryce Buchanan, infield hit. And that's been it. Hello, Jordan Hodges. 8 nothing Cyclones. Strike called, one and one. In the top of the sixth inning for the Cyclones, you've got the top of the order. Eggleston, Wetzel, and Carter. Eight nothing, Elizabeth and lead here. Carter throws to first, back in diving. And diving safely. Carter. Johnson holding on the runner, delivers, and it misses upstairs, not by much. A fastball ran the only. Two balls and a strike. Two outs, fifth inning, Cyclones up eight. Evan Carter brings it, swing and a miss. Two and two. Sun's popped out here. Beautiful evening after all day the rain we had. So whoever got together and moved this game here was wise beyond their years because this is a great place to have a game. 2-2 pitch. 
Bounced up there through the wickets. Perkins down to second pass ball. Buchanan into second base now. Your two out runner for Greenville. Count runs full now on the top of the order man, Dalton McLean, who is flying out to left and struck out swinging. Full count now. Carter checks, brings it. Fly ball left field, foul into the Cyclone bullpen. No runs, two hits, Greenville. Eight runs, nine base hits for the Elizabethan Cyclones. At 24 and eight on the season. Payoff pitch, upstairs ball four, he lost him. Only the second walk of the game and only the 14th all season for Evan Carter. And here's Augustus Fraley. Popped out to short, infield base hit. He's one for two. Bottom of the fifth. Evan Carter's pitch count is not that high. He has really been in control of this game. Swing and a miss, blew it by him, strike one. In the sun out right now, so left field. Third base, Matthew Daly, the, the shadow of the grandstands, kind of blocking him in the light towers here on top of the home plate area. So he's, he and Corey are protected in the shadows, but Jacob Mullins in left field and Ryan Wetzel looking straight into the sun right now. Here's a foul back 0-2 now. Pretty good rip, but fouls is the backstop screen. No balls and two strikes. Lawson Wagner okay at first, or rather right field, as is Nick Johnson at first. But Wetzel, even as he's glove hand up around his eyes to see what's going on here at home plate. Carter checks the runners at second and first, brings it. Swing and a miss. Pull the string on him. Augustus Fraley slams the home plate area in disgust with these bats. Strikeout swinging, inning over. We go to the sixth inning. It's all Elizabeth in the Region 1 AA Championship. After five, Elizabeth and eight, Greenville nothing. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball, brought to you by the great folks from the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Five innings in the books. We go to the sixth inning. It's the Cyclones eight, Greenville nothing. Your numbers, Elizabeth and eight runs, nine hits, one error. They've left four. Here's Eggleston, way outside ball one to start the inning. For Greenville, no runs, two hits, one error. They've left five. Evan Carter's putting on the show here. Here's Eggleston. A single walk, a ground out, and score twice. And he shoots a foul down the left field line of backing out of play, one and one. Eggleston, Wetzel, and Carter. The Cyclones have gone out in order twice in the ball game. To Newton in the second and to the third pitcher, Cheney, here in the last at bat in the fifth inning. One one pitch. He just topped it and dribbles it foul behind home plate, one and two. Hello to Tommy Richardson. Hello to Chris Snavely. Hello to Jordan Hodges. Hello to Amy Britt. Thank you all for 
hanging with us this evening. Cheney delivers. Eggleston takes. Swing and a miss. Strikeout swinging. One down here in the sixth inning. Strikeout number four by the Greenville staff, number two now. But Cheney, and he'll go to work on Ryan Wetzel. Two for three tonight. Single in the first, single in the fourth, and a fly ball to end the third inning to the right fielder. He scored twice. Eight big ones for the Cyclones here in the top of the six. You're six outs away from home field advantage Friday night. And misses downstairs, ball one to Wetzel. Look at some of the big league scores here. Who would have thought the Atlanta Braves are the best, one of the best records in baseball right now. Braves are red, scorching hot. Well, the Suns really come out here now. Center field and left field are looking into the Suns. Swinging a miss, Wetzel. One and two. Carter on deck. Cyclones at 24 and eight. They've won five in a row here. In postseason. And it just misses outside. Two and two. Happy Valley 12 to two in five innings. Sullivan East 14 nothing in five innings. Unicoi County 11 nothing in six innings. Unicoi County seven to one. Then Monday night in the regional three two over West Green. He shoots one. It is a foul ball first base side. Nice job of Spanner to field it. I'm not so sure that wasn't a fair ball, but he said it was foul, and we'll take it. So Ryan Wetzel gets another shot here. So we've outscored in the postseason our opponents 47 to 5. Upstairs, good eye Wetzel. He draws a one-out walk. Wetzel's on base for the third time in four at-bats tonight. Here is Evan Carter, a walk, infield hit, and a line out to the third baseman. He scored both times he's been on base, or his Curtis runner has. So Carter's gotten stronger, as is the tail of the tape on this young man. As the game gets deeper into the innings, he gets stronger. Downstairs, ball one. One out, one on here in the top of the sixth. Elizabeth leads 8 0. Carter outside, good eye, 2 0 for Evan Carter. Evan Carter came into the ball game with 39 hits and 100 at bats, 12 doubles, a triple, two home runs, and 44 RBIs. This one downstairs, ball three, and suddenly Cheney having a hard time finding the strike zone. Carter's walked 15 times, struck out eight times on the season. So he's up there swinging the stick, making things happen. He's worked into a 3-0 count here. Off the bag at first, pretty good lead, Ryan Wetzel. 3-0 pitch, it's upstairs, ball four on four. One out, got something going here in the sixth inning. Here's Corey Russell. Popped out and foul ground to the first baseman, flied out to the right fielder and had a base load of walk with an RBI number 46 of the season. Coach Collins pounces out of that first base dugout, and Evan Carter gets the courtesy runner, Colton Miller, at first. And looks like they're going to summon the fourth pitcher out of the bullpen. Yep, that's what's going to happen. We'll take a break, tell you what's coming up next month at Bristol Dragway. That would be the Thunder Valley Nationals. The Fitzgerald Gliders. Thunder Valley Nationals will be right back, see who this fourth pitcher is. Cyclones got something going in the sixth, leading 8 nothing. We'll be right back after you. Here's this. This Father's Day weekend, man-made thunder rumbles into town as Bristol Dragway hosts the Fitzgerald USA NHRA Thunder Valley Nationals. Witness the raw power of the fastest sport in the world. Every ticket is a pit pass. Buy before June 1st and save, including free tickets for kids 12 and under on Sunday. Treat Dad to the heart-pounding power of 10,000 horses. This Father's Day weekend, visit ThunderValleyTicks.com or call 423-BRISTOL. Collins, the coach, elects to leave him in there. So here's Corey Russell, first pitch way inside, hunkered him down, ball one. Eggleston strikes out swinging, Wetzel and Carter back-to-back -back walks, and here's Corey. 
One zero pitch. Fly ball, right field, but back it out of play. Twisting foul, it's one and one now to number four. Russell leads his ball club in RBIs, the district tournament MVP, a homer and 45 RBIs for Corey Russell. One-one pitch to number four. Can't wait to see him in the football uniform this fall, too. He pops him up. Shortstop backpedaling on the artificial surface and makes the catch. Does Augustus Fraley for two away. Two outs in the inning for the Cyclones here in the sixth, leading 8 nothing, and they'll see Evan Perkins come to the plate. Three for three, five RBIs, a double tonight. How about that? Rebecca Nix says, go Cyclones. Wish we were there. Sure am proud of all of you. You should be. These guys have really come off the map and played some great baseball here. And I think it starts with their coach, Brian Presnell. All speed pitch upstairs, ball one, along with Coach Casey, and Coach Hodges, and Coach Diaz, Coach White. Hope the Elizabeth and fan base realizes what kind of coaching staff they got. These guys, they're, they're really, really good. Strike call, one on one to Perkins. Evan with a five RBI night here. He's now got 36 on the season. One ball, one strike, Evan Perkins. Two on, two out of the sixth inning. It's all Elizabethan right now. Chaney, Perkins, into the bat, dribbler foul. First base side. Just nubbed it. Evan Perkins again. 36 RBIs on the season. His double was number nine for Evan Perkins and for the team, number 52 of the season. Aiden Chaney, the right-hander, delivers to Evan Perkins. Ground ball, shortstop, fields on the backhand, throws, and he's safe. safe. Perkins beat it up. Infield hit. Now they got him in a rundown. Coming home, and Colton Miller's going to be tagged out up third, and that's the inning. Perkins stumbled going across the bag. Looks like he's going to be okay. I think he is. He is credited for an infield hit. But again, the rundown gets that third out, and that is the inning. We'll come back and tell you about it. We go to the bottom of the six. Cyclones maintain an 8 nothing lead. We'll be right back after this from the good folks at Champion Chevrolet. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City's huge spring sale is in full swing. We have over 600 new Chevys to choose from with savings up to 20% off MSRP. 17 Silverado 1500 20% off MSRP with over 200 in stock. 17 Silverado HD 13% off MSRP. 2017 Equinox Tracks in Malibu, 20% off MSRP. Don't forget our Saturday parks and service hours and shopping online 24-7. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? Thomas Stadium, big, big an insurance run. That run will count. And so it's a 9 nothing game as Wetzel scores ahead of the play. What actually happened? Runners at second and first. Infield hit Perkins, beats out to throw at first. Colt Miller takes a big turn at second, gets caught in the rundown as Wetzel scores from second. So the run's in. It's 9 to nothing, Elizabethan. And so, see if I can replay what happened out there at second. You go to, see, first baseman, you go three to six to four, back to six to make the tag for the third out. Run counts, nine nothing Elizabeth is the bottom line. Nine runs on 10 base hits. So hello to the folks watching in Texas and hello to the folks watching in Tallahassee, Florida. The Cyclones are cooking with propane right now, nine nothing. First pitch, 
Fly ball, right field, pretty well tagged. Wagner's out there, and they can't get to it. Wetzel dives for it. Wagner backs him up perfectly and gets it back in to hold him to a leadoff double. Jordan Idell hammered one. Wetzel went a long way, dove for it. Sacrificed his body, couldn't come up with it. But Lawson Wagner played that perfectly, backing him up so he wouldn't go to the fence and stops him with a leadoff double for Jordan Idell here in the sixth inning. Only the third hit of the ball game for Greenville. So Idell at second, I-D-E-L-L. -L. And here is Taylor, the cleanup batter, a tapper to first base covered by Carter, three to one of the put out on the ground out to Corey Russell at short to lead off the board. He's over two. Hello to Chris Langley. Hello to Renee McNeil and hello to my buddy, Don Lambert. Nine nothing Cyclones here in the bottom of the sixth inning. So Carter sees a runner out at second. Bullpen action starts for Elizabeth and now. First pitch, foul tip, strike one. Foul in the mid of Evan Perkins. Fraley, an infield hit in the third. Buchanan, an infield hit in the fifth. And now the double in the gap by Idell here in the sixth. That's been it. A three hit shutout so far by Evan Carter. You can't ask for anything more than what he's done out here. All speed pitch misses outside. Softball's underway, and Elizabeth and hopefully I can get a score. They're playing Utica County for the regional championship for them to have the right to be at home Friday night. Carter delivers upstairs, two and one. Taylor was your starting pitcher, and the Cyclones roughed him up for three runs and four hits in the first inning and haven't looked back. Played him nine total here so far in the game. Evan Carter delivers. A yeah, bat handle foul back and out of play. Again, 325 down the lines. Power alleys 370 in both the right and left field gaps. And straightaway center to hammer it out of here 400 feet. Bucks will be on the road starting this weekend. A big weekend series down at Wofford. And they come back and get ready for the Southern Conference Tournament. Carter delivers, a swing and a miss, struck him out, made him chase the pitch outside, nice pitch, punch out number four now, the ball game for Evan Carter, one away, Idell stays at second, here is Braden Spano, a walk and a fly out the center, he's over one. Loser will go to the winner of the Alcoa Pigeon Forge game, and that loser will come to, at this point, unless things change dramatically, Elizabethan. Pitch inside, ball one. We had a good crowd Friday night. If we get the opportunity to get back over there, and we are four outs away from doing that, there being O'Brien Stadium, the place ought to be crawling Friday night with orange and black. These kids have earned it. Here's a base hit to left field. He'll make the turn, pick the ball up, and Mullins pumps once, twice, gets it back into Matthew Daly, and got him on the corners here. One out for Caleb Norris, reached on an air by Daly at third and lined out to Corey Russell at shortstop in the fourth. So nine nothing Cyclones. Hello, Renee McNeil. Hello, Char Langley. Old buddy Don's watching. That'd be D-A-W-N. Where's the girls call her, Miss Don? Here's Norris. Runners on the corners, one out. Cyclones have turned 17 double play balls this season. Just for your FYI, which would be nice right now. Let's see. We got a courtesy runner at first base to make a switch. And in comes. Number 13, Noah Moore's going to run it first. So Carter's got him on the corners, one out here in the sixth inning. Nine nothing, Elizabeth. And Evan Carter and Evan Perkins, the battery mates tonight. 
So again, talking about this pitching staff, you've used Shawn, you've used Carter here tonight. You got Lawson Wagner for Friday. You've got Corey Russell possibly. Matthew Daly. Holy smokes, you got some arms you can use Friday. Here's a fly ball in the gap. Over there to get it. Wetzel. Nope. Falls for a base hit. Run score. Shutout's over. Here comes the throw to third. One hop into Daly and can't hang on. He's in at third. RBI single for Caleb Norris. Shutout ended. It's 9-1. to one. Idell scores. Stopping down at third is Spano. RBI signal for single for Caleb Norris. And here's Avery Collins, the catcher, and Reed Casey will come out and talk to his starting pitcher along with his catcher. Bullpen is quiet for the moment, so. RBI for Norris. Shutout is over. Nine to one Cyclones. You've got him at second and third. Down at third is Spano at first. Or rather at second now is Norris. He'll come in on the throw to the third baseman. He'll go down to second. So I credit him with an RBI. And so Casey is done talking to Carter. One run on three hits here in the inning for the Greenville Green Devils. And here's Avery Collins. He's popped out to short. Flat out to right. He's over. So Carter, first pitch, outside ball one. Runner at third, runner at second here. One out of the sixth inning, nine to one Cyclones. Carter delivers, and it's a bell high fastball, strike call. Nice pitch. Evan has done his job here. This is the most productive inning so far for Greenville. One run on three base hits. Live ball. Coming hard, Wetzel. Does he make the catch? He does not. Falls in front of him. Here comes the throw. It's going to be offline, and it's a 9-2 ball game. RBI single, Collins. Back-to-back -back singles. That's base hit number four in the inning now for Greenville. And here is Jay Goodwin. So Goodwin will be DHing and has for CJ Henley. Leading on pulling back down and put 16 in there. Number 16 will be. Oh boy. Nick Tezzi, T E Z Z I, will bat in that eight spot now. So double. Strikeout swinging, single, RBI single, RBI single. So two runs on four base hits for Greenville here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Cyclones maintain a seven run advantage at nine to two here. Norris at second, Collins at first. It continues for, as we said, Nick Tezzi, T E Z Z I. Evan Carter delivers. First pitch back over the mound. Charging Corey Russell. He'll step on the back for one. Throw to first and got him. Double play ball. Corey Russell did it. Great play over the pitcher's mound. Stepped on the bag and had the presence to gun a rocket to the awaiting Nick Johnson and got him. Unassisted six and six to three and that is the inning. Two runs, four hits, no errors and they leave a couple. We played six. Cyclones lead at nine to two and a great 17 or make that 18th double play ball of the season turned in started by a Corey Russell we'll come back and bring you the seventh inning Cyclones three outs away from O'Brien Stadium on Friday night brought to you by Chick-fil-A welcome to the mini morning news show where we are so excited about Chick-fil-A's chicken minis for breakfast that we've minified the news and real estate news Tiny homes for those who like everything within arm's reach. In culinary news, micro food, because, you know, small plates. In entertainment news, this year it's all about the mini series. In pop culture news, mini everything. Because, aww. All right, thanks for listening. Now go put some mini in your morning with the chicken you love for breakfast. Chick fil A's chicken minis until 10 30 a.m.
Another great job defensively by the Cyclone infield. Another double play ball. Big time play. Ball over the mound, filled by Corey Russell, right around second base, stepped on the bag, and then threw a shot to the awaiting Nick Johnson for an unassisted six and six to three inning ending double play ball. We go to the seventh inning, your numbers for Elizabeth, the nine runs on 10 base hits, and the Greenville Green Devils, two runs on six base hits. We go to the seventh inning. It'll be for the Cyclones, Logan Eastep. Matthew Daly and Jacob Mullins. East step. Three strikeouts beside his name. Hello to Crystal Van Huss. Hello, young lady. And hello to Jana Crocker Russell. Way to go, Cyclones. You got it. Corey Russell got that double play ball started short. We're three outs away from O'Brien Stadium on Friday night. First pitch way inside Eddie. East step gets a free pass. Got that left shoulder plunked to start the inning. So your one out, or leadoff man, I should say, is Matthew Daly, a single with an RBI and three tries tonight. Had an RBI single his 16th of the year back in the first inning. First pitch downstairs, ball one. The man of the hour, no question offensively tonight, is Evan Perkins. Four for four with five RBIs. You don't, you can't get any better than that. Bounced up there, nice job of Collins to block it. For Matthew Daly, the number seven man, seventh man in the lineup. Top of the seventh, nine to two Cyclones. Chaney delivers, Daly, fly ball, pretty well tagged in the gap. Does he catch up to it? He does. Nice job of the left fielder. Made it look routine on a deep drive by Daly, one away. Hello, Nina Gooch and Crystal Van Huss says, go, Betsy. You got it. One out, one on. Here's Mullins. 0 for 3. A couple of tappers back to the box and a strikeout for Jacob Mullins in that 8 spot. Chaney delivers and it I think I got his attention. <laughs> this one downstairs. One and one. On deck is Nick Johnson. We're in the top of the seventh. Ground ball foul. Cross the chalk right before it arrived at the third base bag, and Mullins will come back and pick up his stick. Adam Chaney, I'm sorry, Aiden Chaney, in relief, the third pitch of the night used by Greenville. Another chopper this time, another foul ball. Presnell fields it. Nice job in the third base box, Coach. Presnell at third and Coach White at first. Vic and Carroll White are listing down in Knoxville. Vic and Carroll. Chaney delivers. Strike called. Gone. Two down. Nice pitch, strikeout number five for Greenville pitching tonight. Two away in the inning here is Nick Johnson. Bottom of the seventh for Greenville. They will send up nine, one, and two. Here's Nick Johnson, a base hit in three tries tonight to run scored. Hit, strike call, caught the corner. Beautiful night for baseball after the rain and some thick, dark clouds above us here and fog up on the mountain here on Buffalo Mountain. Off to our right. Check swing, did he go? And he did strike two for Nick Johnson. Elizabeth with a runner at first. He stepped with a hit batsman, then a fly ball daily to left. Strikeout, third call, third strike called, I should say, on Mullins. And here's Johnson. A single and a run scored in three tries. He's in a hole, two strikes. Chaney delivers, and it just misses outside. Top of the order on deck here. Cyclones three runs in the first, another run in the third, four big ones in the fourth, and one more last inning. Here's a fly ball to left field. Does it hang up? And it does. Nice job of the center fielder. 
Johnson gave it a pretty good ride to the gap in left center. It's hauled into the center fielder, and that is the inning. We're three outs away from O'Brien Stadium on Friday night. We'll see if we can do it. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Cyclones lead 9-2. to two. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball, brought to you by our title sponsor, the great folks at Chick-fil-A and Elizabeth. Welcome to the Mini Morning News Show, where we are so excited about Chick-fil-A's chicken minis for breakfast that we've minified the news. In real estate news, tiny homes for those who like everything within arm's reach. In culinary news, micro food, because, you know, small plates. In entertainment news, this year it's all about the mini series. In pop culture news, mini everything. Because, aww. All right, thanks for listening. Now go put some mini in your morning with the chicken you love for breakfast. Chick-fil-A's Chicken Minis until 10.30 a.m. Evan Carter gives us six strong innings of baseball. He'll give it up now and give it over to Corey Russell. Try and finish this thing out in the bottom of the seventh. Corey Russell making his sixth appearance of the season at 17 innings of baseball, 18 hits, nine runs, eight of those earned his walk, one struck out 12. And so Corey Russell goes to work on nine, one, and two. Bryce Buchanan, Dalton McLean, and Augustus Fraley. Sarah Stanley says, here we go, three up and three down. That's, that is exactly what we want, Sarah. You are thinking like I think. See what happens here. Lawson Wagner now. Got some changes made. Wagner will go to second. Eggleston moves over to short. Daly stays at first. Johnson stays at first. Daly at third. Eggleston at third and at second now is Lawson Wagner. He step goes into right field. Here's Corey Russell. First pitch upstairs, ball one. Buchanan against Carter. Infield hit and a strikeout swing. Evan Carter struck out four, scattered six hits, gave up two runs. 1-0 pitch. Outside, it's 2-0. Nine to two Cyclones here in the bottom of the seventh. Three outs away from O'Brien Stadium on Friday night. Corey, 2-0 pitch. Outside ball three, 3-0. Three no. Russell, a little lathered up here, coming from that shortstop spot. 3-0 pitch. And it's ball four on four. Top of the order, here's Dalton McLean for Greenville. Fly out, strike out on the walk, he's over two. Russell working from the stretch, brings it, squares the bump, misses outside, ball one. Well, that would tell me you may see the combination of Daly and Lawson Wagner on Friday night. And that's just me speculating. Corey Checks the runner, brings it, and it's downstairs, and it's 2-0. Oh. You can on a walk to lead off the bottom of the seventh. Here's Ricky Walters watching again. Thank you, my friend. Nine to two Cyclones. Corey delivers, strike call. Nice pitch, 2-1. This guy's a gamer, I'm telling you. Whatever he does, he's successful at. Goodness gracious. Two balls and a strike to the lead top of the order. Ground ball. It'll be Eggleston at short. Throws the second and he throws it past him. All hands are safe. Wagner goes out right field to get a throwing here on Ethan Eggleston. And first two on board it. They move to second and third. E6. That's Eggleston moving over from second to short when Corey goes on the mound and throws it away. Runners at second and third. Nobody out. Here's Augustus Fraley, an infield hit in three tries here. So Eggleston goes to short, throws the ball to Wagner, threw it in behind him, E6 on the throw. Second error of the ball game for the Cyclones, and more importantly, he got the first two on board here at second and third. Russell goes to work on Fraley and swing and a miss. Actually a foul tip, strike one. Second error of the ball game now for Elizabeth. Corey working from the windup. I think that's where he likes to be. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Outside, Perkins blocks it, 1-1. One -on -one. 
Runner at third is Bryce Buchanan. Runner at second, Dalton McLean. Bottom of the seventh, nine to two. First two men on for the Greenville Green Devils. Ground ball. It'll be Eggleston. He'll field. He'll throw to second, throw it away again. Run scores, nine to three. And he'll stop him at third. Run in, nine to three. McLean stops, or McLean stops at third. Fraley goes to, yep, he goes to second on the throwing arrow. So a walk and back-to-back -back errors and still nobody out here. Here's Idell who had a gapper, a double his last time up. Nine to three now, nobody out. Russell, Idell, ground ball to Eggleston with short. He'll go to second, they got him in a rundown. And he'll tag him out, applied run scores, it's nine to four. But a big out. Got him off the bag. Eggleston went to second. There was nobody there to throw to as far as a base runner. That out was simply because of poor base running by Greenville. But we'll take it. One away. So six to four. Back to six. One away. Run scores. And a strike call. So Buchanan scored, McLean scored, Fraley's out at second of the play, and it's a fielder's choice credited to Idell who stays at first. Here's Taylor, misses downstairs. Taylor over against Evan Carter. One out, two runs in here. We're in the bottom of the seventh, Cyclones lead it now, nine to three. Throw to first, high throw, Johnson pulls it down. So Corey Russell working from the stretch here. Hello, Amy Townsend and Debbie Hyder Hodges watching. Here's a chopper back to Corey. Bobbles it. He'll field it anyway. He'll throw. He got him. Great job. Corey Russell bounced back from that one and went to the wickets. Went in behind the pitcher's man. He went back and pounced on it. And threw it to Johnson. Two down to the ball game. One to three. Great recovery by Corey, John, uh, Corey Russell to Nick Johnson. Two down. Runners goes to second. Here is Braden Spano. Hey, Amy. Spano, a single and two tries and a walk. Pitch, bows him back, misses upstairs, ball one. Two runs without a benefit of a hit so far for Greenville. And two big Elizabeth and arrows, nine to three. And it's strike called, one on one. Great pitch, Corey Russell. Two out of the ball game, nine to three, Elizabethan. Corey Russell shoots the back foul. Good pitch. Pretty good hack for the big guy. One ball, two strikes, Spano. Corey Russell to the bell, trying to slam the door on the Greenville Green Devils here in the seventh inning. And it just misses upstairs, two and two. Two balls and two strikes, two out, two runs in. Cyclones and out away from being at O'Brien Stadium on Friday night. Two-two pitch, swing and a miss, drop the ball. Perkins will throw. And that is the ball game. Cyclones win nine to three. And we will be at O'Brien Stadium on Friday night. Cyclones hold off the Greenville Green Devils. Final score nine to three, Elizabeth. And they run their mark now to 25 and eight. And the Cyclones will go on the road to either Alcoa or Pigeon Forge with a record of 22 and 11. Final score, Cyclones nine, Greenville Green Devils three. And the Cyclones are... 
doing a little victory weave out there at the field, as you can see. As Elizabeth will move on and come back home to O'Brien Stadium Friday night for the sectional. You win that ball game, you go to Murfreesboro next week in the state tournament. Final score, Elizabeth and nine, Greenville three. We'll talk about it and also have head coach Ryan Presnell here in the postgame show. Cyclones win and wing big nine to three. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball brought to you by the good folks in Blackburn, Childers, and Stagall. Blackburn, Childers, and Stagall, providing tax, accounting, and audit services in East Tennessee for over 50 years. Blackburn, Childers, and Stagall, the region's largest firm, and serves individuals, family businesses, health care, nonprofits, manufacturers, and many more industries. Blackburn, Childers, and Stagall's Wealth Management, celebrating their 20th anniversary this year. BCS Wealth Management is a full-service financial firm, providing personal financial planning, investment, and group benefits. For more information, please call 423-282-4511. That's 282-4511 or on the web at bcscpa.com. That's bcscpa.com. Blackburn, Childers, and Stagall, proud sponsor of Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. Regional championship plaque hoisted by the Cyclones down the third base foul ball area as they have brought home the big plaque tonight as they win the Region 1 AA championship. And they'll be at home Friday night. Jennifer Johnson's watching. Harold Russell says, great game. You better believe it. Jan Stevens says, congratulations. Emily Cole Morgan Stern says, great game. Go Betsy, go. Laura Hooks says, great job, Cyclones. Tommy Richardson says, great job, Cyclones. Crystal Van Huss says, congrats. Big win tonight, and they're down there praying. How about that? That kind of puts it there and everything into perspective. Big win tonight for this baseball team. They're going to be at home on Friday night against either Alco or Pigeon Forge. And again, this place ought to be rocking Friday night. O'Brien Stadium needs to be jammed up and jelly tied, no question. Hopefully the girls are winning too, the Lady Cyclones. The numbers tonight for Elizabeth and got to start in the, in the first inning on a three run, four inning first inning. Singles by Eggleston and Wetzel. Evan Perkins a big two, two run single. Matthew Daly, RBI single, three runs, four hits in that first inning and never looked back. Played at nine total tonight. Then you come back in the third inning. Cyclones get a unearned run, a single by Perkins. Uh, played in Carter. Softball losing, 4 nothing. bottom of the fifth inning. We get that turned around, we hope, for the Lady Cyclones. The Cyclones go out on the field to get some pictures taken here. I don't know if Coach President will come up or not. If he doesn't, I totally understand that. In the fourth inning, four runs on three hits. That inning got started with Mullins tapping back the box. Johnson singles to right. Eggleston walks. Wetzel hits a single back up the middle. Carter hits a smoker to the third baseman who catches it. Shoestring catch makes a great play. Corey Russell with a bases load of walk with an RBI. And then the big hit again tonight. Evan Perkins, a bases clearing, three run double, was really the hit of the game. Cyclones pick up another run in the sixth, and again, a nine run, 10 hit baseball game. Two error, nope, three errors in the game. And we leave seven men on. Evan Carter gets the W. Carter now in the season, an outstanding pitching performance for Evan Carter. He now goes to four and four in the year. Corey Russell picks up the save in the seventh inning. Greenville got there, three runs, one run. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's see, that may have ended up with four runs in the game. Two runs in the first, yep, they got four runs, my bad. Nine to four, the final. They picked up two runs in the sixth, and they had two runs score in the seventh inning. He did make it. Hot diggity dog is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. How about this? Our head coach, Ryan Presnell, 
coming up here. We got them all over the place watching. Yeah, Florida, good. Colorado. Man, what a gut check time for our kids. Talk okay. about it. Ryan Fresno was the head coach. Just dominating performance tonight, so uh, did everything we asked him to do. Again, you know, the dangerous thing about this baseball club is if you give them a day to prepare, man, it's it's pretty incredible what they do to prepare. So uh, very good outing, very good preparation. Uh, did good. I had last inning a little, a little bit hairy right there, but we know we've got plenty of arms to shut down for me too, so good job. Nine to four final, right? Yes. Nine to four. How about Evan Perkins? I got him again. I'm keeping the book as I'm flying up here. I got Perkins four for four with five RBIs. Absolutely. <laughs> Why not? You know, it, it, the, the unseen thing in there, one of the best ABs of the day is our nine-hole hitter, Nick Johnson. You know, Jacob goes up, has a good AB, gets banged on a third strike call. Uh, still a good AB for a sophomore, six, seven pitches seen. Uh, he comes in there as a nine hole, turns the lineup over, gets a base hit, leads to that big inning. And that way those things are juiced for those guys in the middle. If, if we can continue to do that right there, this is a really good baseball team. It's a really good baseball team. We won six in a row, we're now 25 and eight. Friday night, we're at home. Yep. Either Alco or Pigeon Forge has to come our way, right? Uh, it'd be Gibbs or Pigeon Forge. I'm sorry, Gibbs and Pigeon Forge. Right. I'm sorry. Gibbs and Alcoa. Gibbs and Pigeon Forge. One of those has to come our way. Absolutely. So when that when you head to the big dance. That's it. That's what we're shooting for. That's what we worked for. Uh, we got our shot. We set ourselves up best we can with a, with a home game, and uh, we'll be ready to go. You call the start time, and that would be what time do you think? Don't know yet. It's going to really depend on the weather. I got to look at this weather and try to work around that and see what goes on. And, you know, our field right now is, is beyond repair for the next at least day. Uh, so we've got to, we got some decisions to make and some work to do as coaching staff to get together and figure out how to give the, you know, the biggest thing we want to do is give a level playing field for both ball clubs. Sure. I believe in the game of baseball and I'm going to do the best I can for both teams to, to have a level playing field at start time. Regional championship with the Cyclones. Before I let you go, let's give credit to credit to do to Evan Carter. What a night tonight for Carter. Beautiful night, man. I wanted to leave him in a little bit longer, but I uh, wanted to see see Corey out there and, you know, keep that arm fresh, man. It's, it's It could be a long week next week if we do make it down, and we need all the fresh arms we can get. So proud of him, proud of the way he's throwing off speed tonight. My goodness, it's hard to hit that good fastball with off speed behind it like that. 21 outs to Murfreesboro, my friend. That's it, buddy. Let's roll. Let's do it. Cyclone pride. Cyclone pride. Love you, Oh, baby. Love this guy. Man, what an honor to call his game. And all you folks out there have been watching, listening, I can't thank you enough. It's very, very gratifying. I'm telling you. Woo! I like it. Chris DeVault says, great job, Ryan. He's off and going. Get back now with these kids. Again, numbers tonight, nine runs, ten hits, three errors. We leave seven. Evan Carter picks up the W. Evan Perkins, four for four with five RBIs tonight in that five spot for Greenville, who falls to 22 and 11. They must travel now to either Gibbs. I kept saying I'll call all night. I apologize. Gibbs or Pigeon Forge. They'll have to go to the winner of that game tonight. Greenville, four runs, six hits. They committed two errors in strand eight. And your losing pitcher tonight was the man that started it, Jacques Gillespie-Taylor. And again, they're running down the scorebook tonight for this baseball team for Ryan Presnell. You have Ethan Eggleston in that lead spot with the base hit. Eggleston goes... One for three, the walk, and two runs scored. Ryan Wetzel, two for three, a walk, and three runs scored. Evan Carter, over and above his outstanding pitching performance, walks, I'm sorry, a base hit, walks twice and scores twice. Corey Russell, 0 for three, a walk, a base load, a walk, and an RBI is 46 of the season. As we said, Perkins, five for five, I'm sorry, four for four. I'm a little excited, folks. Four for four with five RBIs. Again, now 36 on the season for Evan Perkins with a game-winning RBI. Monday night also against West Green. Also tonight, Matthew Daly, RBI single, his 16th of the season. And a single for Johnson and four tries in a nine spot. Nine runs, ten hits, three errors, seven left for Elizabeth and Greenville. Four runs, six hits. They commit two errors, they leave eight. Again, Evan Carter gets the win, goes to four and four in the season. And more importantly, we have a date Friday night again at O'Brien Stadium if the weather holds to bring you Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball and a chance to get to the big dance next week in Murfreesboro. So cannot emphasize enough, uh, the girls are trailing 4 nothing in the bottom of the fifth for the last we had. So if somebody has a softball score, if you would, let me know that, please, if we can send it out to our listeners. Uh, Chris DeVault says, any word on the softball girls score? Hello, Rick President, be Ryan's daddy, and what a job this guy's done his coaching staff. So, again... 
I know this sounds cheesy and sorry, but I got to tell you, this is my first year of doing, I'm sorry, second year of doing Cyclone Baseball, or have I been, but it has been a real honor to call these guys games, whether we get to the big dance or not, which I think we will. I just got that feeling, got a special feeling about this baseball team, but uh, it has been an honor for me to sit here and bring you these games, and again, we're going to come back and bring you another one Friday night, weather permitting. At some point, we will be ready to rock and roll for the sectional baseball game with a chance to go to the state tournament next week in Murfreesboro. So, again, it is an honor to put this ball cap on and bring you Elizabeth and Cyclone baseball wherever you are across this great country of ours. So, final score, 9-4. to four. Carter gets the W, pitches a gym with Corey Russell picking up the save. Evan Perkins, 4-4 four for four with five RBIs. Matthew Daly, RBI single. And the Cyclones take home some more hardware, the Region 1 AA Championship plaque. You get ready for a Friday night encounter against either Gibbs or Pigeon Ford to the right to get to Murfreesboro in the 2018 AA State Baseball Tournament. We will rejoin you tomorrow. We'll be at Freddy's in North Johnson City. If you've not listened to the show, we'd ask you to give us a listen from 11 to 1 right back here. Again, the Tom Taylor Sports Show tomorrow will be show number 749. Very proud of that fact. We'll be at Freddy's in North Johnson City with a full slate of guests tomorrow. Come by and talk to us, including David Compton from the Johnson City Cardinals, Mike Ezekiel from East Tennessee State Buccaneer Baseball, among others, and also Dave Angie will join us tomorrow. And also we have uh, also coming Carmichael to talk to us as well. He used to work 15 years ago, so I try and listen as much as I can. Go Cyclones to Cristobal. Thank you very much. Final score, 9-4. to four. How about them Cyclones? We'll rejoin you tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock from Freddy's in North Johnson City. And again, Cyclone baseball scheduled. Weather permitting is an asterisk. Got rain coming the next two days. But whenever we play, we'll have it for you. The Cyclones and either Gibbs or Pigeon Forge, the team we beat earlier in the year, 6-5 to five at Smoky Stadium for a chance to go to Murfreesboro. Until then, as always, this is Tom Taylor telling you very simply, win or lose, be a good sport. And how about them Cyclones? Cyclone pride. Woo! So long, everybody.